got a third button. No way. <laughs> third button. All right, gun showers, YouTube, we're out here at the farm. We were approached by Siley Optics to do a review on the Siley Bear. Platforms today that we've got on field. What are we running here today, bud? We got a 0 0.177 caliber pellet gun, a GSG 19 chambered in 22 long rifle, an AR 15 chambered in 5.56, a rifle chambered in 10 millimeter, a SCAR H chambered in 308, and 45.70 a 50 caliber rifle and then that's not all we have a special guest the 1919 what? browning machine gun it's brandon talk to me bro i'm kind of a trigicon snob and craig called me out to test this optic out um Kevin, you want to go through that while i read this stuff cool little sticker my daughter likes stickers <laughs> I think about the size right out of the gate. Would you like that on a pistol? Yeah. I've never really handled any handgun with a optic on it, so I'm curious to see how they work, how they shoot. Dirk, grab us that A-Rex. What's everything coming in there? There's more than that. There's more. That's there. There's some screws, maybe for mounting it up. I got an RM plate a couple different plates with it the a-rex itself comes with a slew of plates as well torx bits there's a battery i think that's it all right what do you think brandon first light first look trigicon snob man it's pretty standard like the packaging and stuff mm -hmm. um, that's know. good i feel like we need to just run it so installation each little bag say again gavin is labeled for what plate? Maybe it's just a combination of the A-Rex and if I'm gonna mount an optic on something, I want it mounted to the slide. I don't wanna have a bunch of extra stuff in between there. Um, but with this A-Rex, first we have to mount the RMR mounting plate or the RMR cut mounting plate for the site to the AR A-Rex base plate and then the base plate gets mounted to the slide. So you've got just different stuff that's all got to go in between there. Everything's not, a failure point. It's, yeah, it's not the end of the world, but okay. I mean, I really don't care for the fact that you can't just take this Picatinny mount off, mm -hmm. Picatinny style mount off, and then mount it directly to yeah, I would be, a plate. You correct I mean? me if I'm wrong, but aren't you looking for as low profile as possible? I am. How do you think that brightness is, Brandon, given... The brightness of the noonday here and how hot it is. I mean, it's not bad. Not bad. I like it. Cool. All right. Hot range. Where'd that one go? I was watching you. Uh, right to the upper right of the bottom gong. Right in that little hole. Third shot. It's spin. Spin me. That was me. That was 100% me on that last okay. one. I don't, what do you want to do now? Oh, see, let's make sure she's on point. And then once we're on point, we're just going to mag dump it into some of that fun stuff over there on the fire pit. Jesus Christ. Hey, you got to use that trigger. This thing's moving all over. So these nuts have to go into this plastic or polymer housing plate that you have to mount the Sire plate to in order to work the A-Rex. So this just may be an A-Rex thing. All right, Dirk says he could do it better. You're low. Hi. It hits 
mountain. You, you tipped it. it. And it's empty. Get rid of them remands. I'm a big fan of the A-Rex Delta X, uh, or I was until we're having these issues. I just really hope it's not that, um, because it fits my hand really well. I have small hands for a big guy. So let's get this thing off this 9 mil, eliminate the fact that this might be a uh, mounting product from the A-Rex. That's why we're having so many issues with it. Uh, we've moved the video here. Um, if you can hear it through the air conditioning into the truck, so we can get this RMR put on a uh, Picatinny plate. So it goes Picatinny rail adapter, Siley RMR plate, Siley optic. We've also confirmed, I don't know how much you can see, but that is a uh, A-Rex issue, I believe, because we've got all those thread pieces of metal. And there's it's this waller to hole out. The, it, uh, the studs are the gone studs are, Yeah, studs are gone. And this is just 9 mil pushing standard ammo, guys. We've been, what, 100 rounds? Uh, yeah, we barely put 100 rounds. We put 100 rounds through it, guys. That's an A-Rex problem, not a Psy Lee problem. All right. Well, 100%. good job, Psy Lee. Uh, A-Rex, you're lacking. All right, we're going to pivot, guys. Um, we're going to get this thing mounted on the GSG-22 and get this thing zeroed in accurately at uh, about 20 yards and uh, run it through the calibers, make sure it maintains zero after that. Uh, I think that's how we're gonna have to pivot off this test to make sure we're getting a real accurate idea of what this um, optic is capable of. Cause I can tell you right now, A-Rex has flat disappointed me. Optic looks good on the gun. Bottom left. You tink the iron on the bottom, very bottom left. Exact, I would say, southwest quadrant. Bottom left, but not bottom bottom left. You didn't add new, you didn't take away new paint. Hi. Oh, I'm shooting at the top one. Okay, okay. All right, three click adjustment. We're good enough. Pretty good. He says, I wanted to. You gotta fill that mag first. You gotta put in the labor of love by filling that magazine. I think she zeroed in. So we took the optic off, put it right back on. Not bad results. Let's get it on some uh, other platforms. Time for the torture test. 
Then we'll re-zero it after the torture test to see if it holds. We're going to go low to high, guys. So right here, we're going to pull out the uh, Black Ops Citadel. Well, Dirk ain't shot it yet. So let's let the Dirk, Dirk, Dirk man shoot it. He's been so excited, Gavin. You've seen it back there. No, sit down on the grass like you Black Ops. You keep talking about video games, let's get him itchy. She's on point. Sai Lee now being mounted to the 223 AR-15 pistol. Watch your fingers, watch your fingers. Oh, yeah. I'm good. You're good. One handed. One hand. <laughs> so, what do we got here? We got a 10 millimeter carbine. So slug, buckshot, birdshot, and we're gonna run that through twice on the Citadel. Isn't that a Citadel? What is that? Yeah, Citadel Boss 25. Citadel Boss 25. Yeah. Make it ring. Oh, that's kinda cool. So you can see the red dot through it? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Nice, let me see if I can capture it with the camera. Yeah, I think I got it in there. There we go. Nice. Citadel 25. Slug. Slug, buckshot, birdshot. What are we loading up now, gentlemen? Got the scar in 308. Man, this is my first time being able to fire a gun like this, so huge shout out to Piazza out in Alton, Illinois, guys. Thank you very much. It's got a third button. No way. <laughs> third button. Well. That was a, that was a, a shell got up my neck. around one bottle the whole time <laughs> that's a beauty to shoot that's a beautiful gun to shoot feels good i look good shooting it i'm sure you do look amazing thank you, thank you. that's the nicest thing anybody's gonna tell you me today get it, bro thank you All right, thoughts on the gun? This thing is awesome. And it's party time. Don't flinch.
All right, guys, we've got one last thing to mount this on. There we go. Yep, it works. Right. Got this mounting system from A-Rex Delta X. Right here, similar quality. Yep, duct tape. Super sweet. All right, I'm going for, you know, our super awesome. This is nice. So, going for an orange bottle. We've got a sided in. Trigger's a little different than I'm used to. Got it! Can you load it for Gavin B? Got it. I'm telling you, it's not that bad. Go again. It's it actually hit. Go again. I might pick it up. Keep going. All right, gun showers, YouTubers, the one thing that you asked us to do was make sure we don't shill for these companies if they're gonna ask us to review these products. And no offense to every company out there, but that's not what you're gonna, what you're gonna get with us. So if you're gonna send us something, our goal is gonna be to use it like people would use it. Our last test. And sometimes not. And so we're gonna use it like we're not supposed to because that's what people do is they use stuff. So on our, our last test, real fast before we do our closing outro is the drop test. On you, brother. All right, let's slap that back on that GSG. Let's see if we maintain zero. Yep. yep. All right, so I'm gonna give you my first impression of the Siley Bear. I think, uh, first off, thank you for reaching out, Siley. The uh, optic itself, while we did knock it off zero, we were able to hold um, true to where it was knocked off zero. So I think we can adjust it back in and it be all right. We ran it through across, we ran it across multiple platforms that it is not designed for. And uh, honestly, I have very little experience with RMRs. I'd say at the $250 price range for an enclosed emitter, something that won't get dirty, not too shabby on my end. Uh, it didn't break when we dropped it. That was key for me. It didn't shatter or lose glass when we ran it across uh, the higher calibers. Um, so let's see what the, the other men think about this. Random. Man, for 250 bucks, I feel like if they put a true Picatinny rail on, like, on the optic itself, so you didn't have to have a separate mounting plate, no matter what the platform is, I think it would be pretty awesome. I mean, for 250 bucks, it sucks that it didn't hold zero, but again, we, it's not like we were using a true return to zero QD mount. It was just a couple screws on a Chineseium Amazon mount, so. I don't really know. Scale of one to ten. Just give it a scale of one to ten. Ten being your favorite. It held together. I give it like a five. five. It's, it's middle of the road. Middle road. Um, Fair synopsis. Not terrible. Hold that real not quick. Great. Get Mr. Gavin over here. Gavin, give him your two cents. Well, I'm not real familiar with optics. I don't use them a whole lot along those lines, but we have had a couple on this show and the other few that we did have have not held up. They all broke within making of one video. So there's nothing bad I can say about this optic, especially since we dropped it. So I'd give it rating probably a seven or eight. Not real familiar with them, but I like it. All right, guys. So uh, one thing that um, I was waiting to see how this thing performed before I decided how we did an outro with it was um, because you're a member of the Gun Show Show, we get a discount here now with Siley Optics for the Bear. It's 20% off plus a prime discount of 10% with the code BEARDEAL, BEARDEAL020. 
use it at your own discretion. We're going to continue to test this. Guys, you're going to see it in future episodes as well because I'm going to use this mount across a few other guns. Um, that way, you know, six months from now, if I've only put 500 rounds through it and we've had issues, you'll hear about it. Once again, guys, thank you for coming out, following us on our adventures. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell, leave a comment. We'll see you at the next adventure.